right, guys, first video for this channel, and it's gonna be a good one, hopefully. Hopefully, you can see me. We have to pump down 30 minutes of this hill to get to a nice giant lake over there. They closed off the entrance to the lake, so we won't park in the parking lot. So, we're gonna park up on this hill and then march our way down. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we talked to some other guy that just came from fishing here. He said he caught a, a three catfish, a striped bass, and a largemouth bass. Pretty decent, good sizes. So this is a good video for you guys to watch. Ah, it's gonna be a long walk and we don't have that much water. So let's get this. And we're off. See the wizard. This hike takes 30 minutes to get down to the lake. You hear a lot of whooshing noise because it's really windy here. I can nice slow steady step on a steep hill down definitely glad we didn't have the chair, uh, wagon now walk sideways not too too bad just that spot right there it's still pretty steep but it's walkable just that first just that first walk yeah but don't forget we have to come all uphill way back you can always just roll down this I see it Beautiful. Looks like a natural lake too. It's nice and big. I wonder how deep it is. Hey guys, you check that out. This is where we are gonna fish. We have to get down to that way over there. We're gonna walk down and we'll set up our fishing poles here and start fishing. So let's do this. Okay, we made it down from up the hill to this little beach area. So we're gonna do pretty much like surf fishing at a lake. Oh, this lake's so big. All right, we're gonna start fishing up, start sitting up, and we'll start casting out. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. So I had to on a rig, but current's a little too strong from the wind, so I added another half ounce, maybe four ounce. So I don't know, I don't know one ounce weights. So, we're using a warm little night crawler, see if we get anything with this guy. Apparently they've been biting. Fishman biting a night crawler. Yeah, all the way in. Cast this bad boy out and see if this little ghetto rigged. Well, it works. Oh, it does. Cast pretty good. I have five ounce weights. I don't want to use something too heavy. So let's see if this works out. A little better. For that. We'll be ready to go. Sorry. You always want to bow doing many different things. This water looks pretty clear right here. Right, so that's pretty nice. Let's see if that works out. Finally. I'm not getting bites on warm, so I'm gonna. Reel it back in. 
recast it out. Let it sit a little bit longer. The wind's going right for us, so it should bring fish to us too. Floats. I'm gonna close off of this. It's not because I'm gonna get my hands dirty, it's because someone else gave this gave us a syringe and I just don't <coughs> trust it from other people. No offense, but do with the syringe. Get a syringe. Put it in this little dark area. It's nice and bloated to this side too. Get him. Not real quick. Okay. Get this guy back out there. Tight lines. And let's see if we get any bites. Alright, back in with you. Can we switch spots to this other yeah. spot over here? Okay, we switch spots to this other spot over here. This other spot we weren't getting nothing, we were there for like a couple hours. We got a couple bites that you guys saw. Uh, already we came over here to this area, this beach, other beach area, the rocks. We saw a fish pop up, so hopefully we can get something. Over here, it looks like it's deeper too. It's more open. So, let's try this, this area. So I'm gonna set up like I did last time with, with the worm. And, uh, let's see. So we get a nice juicy worm out. Worm, worm, worm. There's still some left, I don't know how many are left. Get my nice. Not sure on the size of the hook of this guy. What I like to do, I learned this when I was living in Washington, because some fish straight up attack and move and they'll take your bait fast. You put them in once, you put them in twice, like so, and you throw a third one, just safe side, and use a lot of hanging stuff, pull top and bottom and stuff, a lot of them wiggle room, and if they rip this off, all you do is stretch them out, put them back on. 
And then we got some special sauce. These little big ass ants. Big ass fire ants. And put our special, put them in a special sauce. Inflate them. It helps them float underwater. What we're gonna do is get to one side of them. Pretty much becomes like a bobber. Look at that guy. Look how fat he is now. I like to do both sides. Just in case. There you go. What? There's a bunch of them here. Be careful when you grab your handle because there's some crawling on my hand though. I'm just gonna leave mine. I'm gonna throw mine in right here, but I'm gonna stand right here. So I'm gonna push my. Drop my guy right there. Get some warm juice in my mouth. Drop this bad boy down. Lines are tight. He's got a bit right now. He's still there. Got him. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. What is it? What is it? Oh. <laughs> That's a bass. <laughs> Striped bass. First ever. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Really? Can't tangle it up on my shit. Take one. Yeah. First striped bass ever that I ever caught in my life. He could have a little tiny fight. Little guy. Just with the warm. So I warmed all we work. Alright, let this guy go. You don't go. 
<laughs> Finally. He wasn't, he started fighting a bit and he like, he gave up hope and started running towards me. And then he started fighting again and I was getting pulling him closer. We got tangled up from a braid. Well, this water's warm. So we're just trying over here for a little bit and then we're gonna head out because it's getting really cold. We're not dressed properly to be out here in this cold weather. back to the car we're all out of worms and it's getting kind of late now and really windy and cold so we're heading back oh man. still pretty cold I'm out of breath so out of shape anyways Let me know if you guys want me to come back here and go fishing again. This thing, look at this. This thing is, is a good hike, a good workout, I guess. So, if you guys want to come back again, please let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the video. And then we'll see what's next to come. I know it was only one fish, but at least it wasn't a skunk show. Peace. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, so we're done filming. We just got back to, like, to the car. So the lake's way down there. We climbed over all of this, or hiked through all that. See the lake down there. Nice lake. Definitely gonna be coming back, especially if you guys like the video. Do some more uh, fishing here. We'll come earlier. And Definitely use different bait so you guys can see. Uh, hopefully that's catching bigger fish. But that striper was nice. I'm glad I caught a striper. My first time ever catching a striper. Uh, so it doesn't matter how big it was, it's still PB for me. Oh man, that was a nice hike though, back up. So hopefully we can come back here. If you guys like the video, please let me know and we will come back and film some more. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to use a certain type of bait for more striper or try to go for the giant catfish out here. Peace out.